guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to today's video where we're doing something a little bit different, actually. It's not quite different, it's just new on this channel. And that is getting into cosplay with me. I have wanted to get like into cosplay for the past several years, but I've only done a couple of things. I've done Luz Noceta from the Owl House, but that was more of a Halloween moment, and I really want to get back into that cosplay, but I just haven't. I did the Joker from Batman, and I did Jack Skellington, although that was more of a Halloween costume as well. But I have finally gotten all of the things together for a new cosplay, which is Thalia Grace from Percy Jackson. If you are unaware of this series or story, uh, uh, it is a world created by Rick Reardon where he has the Greek gods and the characters are mostly demigods from those gods. Uh, Thalia Grace is the daughter of Zeus and I've wanted to cosplay for a while ever since I got my leather jacket that I have been meaning to turn into something that I could use for this cosplay and I finally have everything together. So, I didn't record any of it, but I'm mostly just going to explain my process and how I went about things. If you follow me on Patreon, you already saw progress photos and are aware of this cosplay before I even brought it out to the public, because that's what happens when you are subscribed to my Patreon. Anyway, I have a number of things for this cosplay. The first time I tried to attempt this cosplay, the first thing I started with was her circlet of Artemis on her head, because she ended up becoming a member of the Hunters of Artemis in one of the books. And this was the first attempt, and I ended up trying to fix the first attempt, and then it ended up into this puddle of chaos that I absolutely hated, and it didn't fit my head properly. It's just made out of jewelry wire. <laughs> and then I made this circlet, which is a so much better, so much nicer, and also fits my head perfectly. So, that was not the first thing that I made, but it was a piece that is necessary for this cosplay. I went to the thrift store and I bought a pair of jeans and a black shirt, because I don't have a plain black shirt for some reason. So, this is the, this is the plain shirt. I was going to have a design put on this of skulls, but then I didn't feel like it, and besides, it's fine. And then I bought a pair of jeans, which I ripped to make them look like they've been used. <laughs> jeans. I made this rip here, I'm really proud of this rip. It's supposed to look like claws, had sliced through the jeans. And then, you know, there's a frayed edge, there's just a couple of other spots, and then this is like completely torn apart a little bit. So, those are the jeans that I got. And then the biggest part of this cosplay was the leather jacket. Now, I had this leather jacket to begin with, and then I added things to it to make it more of the character. They described her as very punk-ish, and her jacket had brands that Percy wasn't able to recognize. So, what I did was I added these spikes to, onto it, because part of her design is she has spikes on her jacket. And then I made these pins with my pin maker, and I put them on the jacket as well. I didn't want to ruin my jacket. I didn't- I wanted to just still have my plain leather jacket, so these spikes are actually pins. Let me demonstrate. These spikes are actually made to put onto clothing, except have a hole in the clothing and then you screw in the spike. But I didn't want to do that to this jacket because it's a nice leather jacket. So instead I glued the spikes onto a pin and I just pinned it to the jacket. And now there are spikes on the jacket. I have some fun pins that I made here. I have a pin maker that I have not shown on this channel for some reason. And also, I now am selling pins on my website that are handmade by me, so if you want to go check those out, that'll be in the description. But this just has some fun little pins. There's a skull, and then this one says proud to be emo. There's another skull, and there's a toxic waste symbol. There's a My Chemical Romance pin. And then there's a Punk's Not Dead, a Skeleton Unicorn, and then one that says Punk's Respect Pronouns, because there's representation in Percy Jackson. So yeah, that was the main part, and that's the main part that took me time. And then I have black combat boots, which I'm already wearing. And then, basically her hair is just spiked, and also she has eyeliner 
and all the things like that. Hence why I don't have any makeup on right now is because I'm going to do it in this video. Yeah, <laughs> that's mostly everything for this cosplay. So I'm going to get into it and then I'll do my makeup and hair on camera. And then we'll go outside and I'll show off my, my fit. That's the plan. Let me go get changed <laughs> and I'll be right back. My microphone's literally so stupid, but it's fine. We're gonna go microphone list, and I don't want to, but we got to. All right, next part, makeup. We're gonna do my, my eyeballs. Usually I do my makeup in the bathroom. So we're gonna see how well this goes, especially since I don't have a stamp. Okay. I don't know how I should do this. Should I do what I usually do? I usually wear eyeliner to begin with. Uh, so I'm wondering, do I, like, what is, what is the extent of the eyeliner I should do? <laughs> you know, if my phone wants to connect to the, to the Google, that would be great. I'm literally just looking at punk eyeliner. Oh, so cool. It's all so cool. I love it so much. Okay, here we go. Last time I checked, I'm pretty sure I'm running out of black eyeliner, but it's fine. Are you black or are you like an off black? Right, eyeliner. Yeah, I'm definitely running out of eyeliner, but it's fine. Oh, this is really weird doing this like this. I hope I don't mess it up, because usually I'm really good at eyeliner, but I'm doing this in a really weird way. Ha! Eyeliner. Just like holding it like this. There we go. not symmetrical. <laughs> it's okay. I will live. Alright. How do I look? Do I look fabulous? She, okay. Usually punk eyeliner has it underneath, but I never do eyeliner underneath my eyes, whatever that's called, because I am the worst at it. So what I do is I take my little brush and I like I mimic, mimic the eyeliner underneath because it's a lot easier and then I don't get eyeliner on my eyelashes. And usually I don't go all the way underneath but this is the way that the cosplay do. So that is what we do. <laughs> oh my gosh I'm feeling more and more like this character. <laughs> and then we're gonna take some black eyeshadow and just kind of go around because it's kind of what you do. I can hear my intro from the other room. My mom was watching, binge watching my videos. How that look? It looks punk is what it looks like. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Okay, we're gonna do little like underneath like the, I don't know, extra wings. I don't know what they're called. Doing. I may be good at makeup, but I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to describing makeup, so... <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, and the next piece is black lipstick. I have two things of black lipstick because I couldn't find my original black lipstick that I own. So then I went and bought another one because I searched and searched and couldn't find this one, and then I found it. So now I have two. <laughs> We're gonna use this one because I like this one better. Ugh. So, black lipstick, here we go. Makeup is a very focused task. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> okay, now it is time to put the circlet on. But here's the problem, now I have to style my hair around it. Her hair is spiky, but I don't feel like spiking my hair. I should, but like it's pretty voluptuous to begin with. Oh my gosh. 
I'm literally so ecstatic right now. <laughs> I look like the character so much. Okay, 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 okay. Now we need to correctly jeweler jewelry ourselves. And we're gonna keep the lightning bolt one on because, well, she's the daughter of Zeus, so... <laughs> we take off my current necklaces. Because <laughs> these do not pass the vibe check. We wear strictly silver here. Okay, we'll keep this on because that matches. And we'll take this one and we'll put it on like this. And then we'll wear some of these studs. There's black ones in here somewhere. Alright, I have a couple of pieces in my room in my jewelry box that would be work well, so I'll be right back. I have added a necklace to the collection of necklaces on my neck. And I have a I don't know if you can see it, but I have a pant chain. <laughs> I also need to touch up my lipstick a little bit because I missed some spots. <gasps> I'm literally so happy right now. I think I need to adjust the circlet ever so slightly because it feels like it's digging into my skull. So, my hair is actually pretty fine with the way this is. Oh. Uh <laughs> it is done. I am in cosplay and I feel so happy right now. Uh, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna do a couple of cool shots, maybe, hopefully. And I'm also gonna make reels and stuff, but it's hard to kind of like show off the fit when I am sitting on a couch. So, see you out there. Thank you for coming along and getting into cosplay with me. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and as always, I hope you have a fantabulous rest of your day. Bye!